Right Hello everybody, Go welcome to the channel. Okay, Today I'm going to talk about Fight Night Champion and I'm going to play this on my Steam Deck as you can see. Alright, and I'm using the PS3 emulator, RPCS3. And I've got the FPS counter on the top left, alright? So take note of that because I'm going to share with you the best settings. I think I've just managed to get the best settings. Uh, I can get this game running at a stable 30 FPS. Alright, if you just use the default settings, um, you won't be able to play this game. I don't think it's actually playable. It's really choppy and yeah, it's not playable. But with some tinkering, I think I've managed to get the best settings. All right, and yeah, this is one of my favorite boxing game series. I played it back on the PSP. I think it was Fight Night Round 2. And I played Fight Night Round 3. Um, I did play a little bit of Fight Night Round 4 on the emulator. All right, and I really couldn't get this one to work. I tried it before and it was really choppy. So I didn't really play this. And I'm not sure it's because um, I couldn't do the settings correctly or maybe the emulator has just gotten better. So if you're a fan of the series, um, please follow along. I'll leave the best settings in the description and I'll also show you in the end of the video. All right, so yeah, let's just try to kick some butt. All right, so I'll show you some more gameplay footage. All right, go knock this guy out. No, I don't want to hold him. All right. All right, so you can see like the frame rate is very good for this game. I get him in the corner. Okay, I don't have much stamina, so maybe I need to get some more stamina first. Okay, so yeah. As I was saying, this like this series is really good, but I don't think they're like making them anymore. They're more focused on um, UFC now. So they're making UFC fighting games, they're not making boxing fighting games that yeah i think that's just like the change of an era it's just ufc is more popular more violent i guess all right let's see if i can knock him out come on it's not going down All right, now you, there, there he goes. All right, See, that that was lot that was satisfying. All right, now let's take a look at the settings. All right, so on my Steam Deck, if you go and click the three dot button, all right, go to performance. You can see um, frame limit. I'm at 60 FPS, 60 hertz. Okay, and then I've enabled manual GPU clock, and I've set the GPU clock frequency at 1000. All right, so that's it for the performance tab. If you have power tools, all right, I've got power tools on, SMT on, eight threads, okay, and then governor, it's on performance. All right, and I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right, so that's the settings for my Steam Deck, and I'll show you the settings of the emulator in desktop mode, so I'll see you there. okay so back on my steam Deck desktop mode first thing make sure you've got cryo utilities installed and i've got it on recommended settings so you can see i've got it on recommended settings and the vram is set to four gigabytes okay i don't think that really matters because rps3 like focus more on the cpu side of things all right but yeah that's just my current settings and then on the emulator so rpcs3 all right right click your game change custom configuration all right so for cpu i changed the preferred spu threads to two all right i think by default it's on auto to so change it to two okay and then on the gpu tab all right i've set the frame limit to 30 and then anti-aliasing is disabled and this z cull accuracy i set it to relaxed okay and then here right color buffers check this 
All right, make sure this is checked. All right, and that's it for here. And on the audio tab, uh, I enabled time stretching. Make sure this is checked. Okay. And then I didn't do anything with the IO. I left the system and I didn't do anything with the network. All right. And in advanced, all right, here, I enabled this silence all logs. All right. And then here, read color buffers. I check this. Okay. And the clock scale changed it to 110%. Okay. And I'm not sure if I changed this. I think this is probably default RSX uh, first in, first out accuracy. I think it's fast. I think that's default. All right. Pause the screens if you want to follow along. I'll also leave them in the description so you can follow along there. All right. So that's what I did to get my 30 FPS um, stable and make the game playable. So I hope you enjoyed this. All right. If you want to support me, please like and subscribe to the channel. And also, I've got a secondary channel called Grown Up Cooking. This is a new channel. I'm doing a cooking channel because that's also a passion of mine other than gaming. So if you want to like learn some cooking skills, all right. I'm not a professional. I'm just a home cook. But yeah, I like to make some cooking videos in the future. So go and subscribe there. It's a new channel. Only has 26 subscribers right now. All right. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.